I love sushi. I love it so much and after years of eating it, I decided to teach myself how to make it and now I want to teach you. So please enjoy these video tutorials on how to make western style sushi. Please rate and comment. Today I'm going to show you how to make seafood dynamite. It's great inside the roll, on top of the roll. You can also put it on top and bake it in the toaster oven for a seafood dynamite. So here are the list of ingredients. And we're going to start off with the fish cakes or the imitation crab sticks. These come individually wrapped. And then here I have some base scallops I buy frozen in my local grocery store and just thaw them out and steam them up in my bamboo steamer for about two to three minutes. And then I have cooked salad shrimp. You can also use thawed out, peeled, deveined, and tail off shrimp. And here we have masago or the small orange fish eggs. They add a really nice flavor and a little complexity to the seafood dynamite. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my stack of fish cakes and get some of that excess moisture that's trapped inside there. You don't want that in your seafood dynamite, especially when you're rolling it out. So I cut them in half. Sometimes I'll cut them in thirds. It just depends on how big of the strands you want the crab sticks to break down into. So then you just break them up and you see they become very stringy. And here we have the base scallops that I steamed up in my bamboo steamer. And I'm just going to give them a rough chop. I like, you know, biting in there and getting a big chunk of scallop. Now you're going to add those to the rest of the mixture. Which so far is just a crab stick broken up. And now we have the steamed scallops. Here are my thawed out salad shrimp. Like I said before, you can use whole shrimp you steam up rock shrimp, any shrimp you really had on hand, uh, different variations I think would give this a little bit different uh, flavor and taste profile. And we're going to add those to the mixture as well. And I give those a nice rough chop as well, so I like everything to, to have a nice rough chop so you, you get a taste of the different ingredients in there. And next I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise. I use Hellman's. You can use a Japanese mayonnaise which is a little sweeter. I always happen to have it on hand. And then sriracha hot sauce of course. And just thoroughly incorporate the ingredients. You can always add more so at this point let work it in there and get a feel for the consistency. Next I add the masago which are the small orange fish eggs. You can skip this step if you're not a fan. I think it adds a great flavor and if I have them I always add them in there. I absolutely love them. And next we just want to gently mix in the masago into the mixture. And here you have this seafood dynamite. To finish this off, I'll place a of plastic wrap on top and press it down onto the mixture. And then I stick it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to let it set up. Thanks for watching my video tutorial on how to make seafood dynamite. Please rate and comment and enjoy the sushi.